Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fun one. We're going to start a new sketchbook and we're going to do a get to know the artist type drawing in it for the first page. I'm using my new Strathmore mixed media journal and I'm also trying these new Artex acrylic markers that I got on Amazon and just letting you guys know they're super fun. I love them. I've tried Posca paints before and obviously those are really great quality but for the price and how many colors you get to choose from, these Arctic markers are pretty dang awesome. So as you can see, I have already started my drawing. I already had the sketch made out and here we're just putting those base colors of the skin. That sad Ohuhu marker is going dry so luckily I just ordered a new set of skin colored markers, finally. <laughs> Honestly, this drawing was so much fun and the position that I drew myself in was quite challenging. I was impressed I was able to do it at all because in the beginning, as most of my drawings start off, I'm not very crazy about how the proportions look and everything. And this one came out pretty decent if I do say so myself. I'm obviously sitting on, on the ground and my legs are crisscrossed. The knee on the right side, if we're looking at the drawing on the right side, the dimension, like the position doesn't, it kind of irks me, but it's okay. It was a first try and you, I just grow from here, right? Also, I am also very proud of me. Lots of taps on my shoulders in this video because I drew hands in this video and normally I try to avoid hands like the plague but I said no I'm gonna challenge myself and so I did it this time and the hand grabbing the cup of ramen is it the best no but was it my best yes and that's what matters and I'm also pretty I'm proud of the hands holding the chopsticks okay that's a hard hand position to draw and I think I did decent. <laughs> so in this drawing, I also obviously made myself wear my favorite shoes of all time, my Converse, specifically my platform Converse. I'm like 5'4", and I need that extra height. My husband is six foot two, so I don't wanna be breaking my neck all the time and <laughs> looking tiny next to him, so platforms are a must with most of my shoes. Okay, so now in the drawing, I'm just adding some shadows on the sweater. I have leaned and always liked drawing with purple shadows. I just think using gray shadows kind of makes the drawings kind of bland so I always try to use like a purple or a dark blue or just you know whatever's in that color palette I try to use color for shadow as opposed to just hints of black into it so I just think it just brings more life into it as opposed to just a dark gray shadow <laughs> And you guys also, side note, completely different off topic a little bit. You guys have to help me beat this discussion with my husband. So he has this obsession with beef top ramen. And I just think it is good. But I just think a classic is chicken top ramen, wouldn't you say? What did you guys grow up with? I always grew up eating chicken ramen. I don't know if it's just Hispanic culture that leans to the chicken ramen because we love top ramen, a couple noodles, but he is just so adamant that beef ramen is the best. So you guys have to help me beat my husband and say that chicken is the best. There's no debate. <laughs> Anyways, enough for, about ramen for now. Now I'm coloring my cute little Eevee. Eevee is my favorite Pokemon and I think that's just because the fact that one, she's so cute and that she has so many endless possibilities of what she can turn into. I have always been indecisive in a lot of the decisions I make in life in general. 
and the fact that Evie has so many different possibilities and can become so many different things and just also in the anime you can see that Evie is always interested in different things and wants to try out different things to see what she likes and I think I can just resonate with that a lot so that's why if I were to choose any starter Pokemon it would be Eevee aside from Charizard if I had to choose but <laughs> Charmander but Eevee will be my spirit Pokemon and I also bought let's go the Pokemon go Eevee so I chose the Eevee one instead of Pikachu. So now I'm trying out the Artex markers and I can just say right off the bat that these colors are so opaque and they dry off, dry down really quickly. So if you want to blend, you got to blend quickly because the markers ain't waiting for you. Uh, but they're so, so opaque. Like you can see there, like there's no paper peeking through there. It's just, I love it so much. And I'm like, I'm like interested in getting more colors just to see uh, what else I can do with it, like blending wise. Uh, I also want to try like after I paint, grab like a paintbrush and kind of blend it more because when you try and blend it with the pen, it does work, but I feel like it's starting to mix in more color just because with these pens, there's no clicker or like you don't press it. So it's the flow of the ink is always ready to go. And so it's just kind of sometimes the color of one color overpowers the other. So just kind of want to try that out and see what I can do. And as you can see here, I'm starting to overline it with some of my Prisma color pencils and it's gliding on perfectly fine. And now it just looks like the details are blending perfectly. So it's a definite yes for me about these Arctic markers and also I bought them with my own money. They didn't send them to me, so that's it's just an honest review. Okay, so right here I started to overlay the cup of noodles cup with marker because I did with my hoo hoo markers, but I feel like it was just blending in too much and I just needed it to pop as opposed to like merging, like it was kind of losing itself in the background. So I needed a pop of color, which the paint markers were perfect for. And I think it came out pretty decent. Again, using that purple marker for shadows. Purple is my favorite color for shadows at the moment. And now with my color pencil, I'm just adding the blush lines. It wouldn't be my art without the blush lines, of course. Zooming in on these chopsticks while editing, it just reminded me that it took me forever to learn how to, you know, eat with chopsticks. Because when I was younger, my mom tried teaching me and it just didn't, it did not make sense in my head. There was no way I could use my fingers to use these sticks to grab my food. But then as I got older, not gonna lie, till after <laughs> high school, I started to go eat Korean barbecue. And that is when I learned how to use chopsticks because I did not want to be that weirdo using a fork. Not if you need to use a fork for Chinese food or anything like that. It's not a shade towards you guys. It's just me, myself. I was like, no, I have to learn how to use chopsticks. So that's that. So I'm labeling this notebook as my official first notebook that I'll be, well not notebook, sketchbook that I'll be documenting here on YouTube so I can do those sketchbook tours because I have other ones but it's just, they're just crap. 
sketchbooks if I have for lack of better words just because it's just so random and I've had them since like three years ago and I just started using it so some of the stuff that's in there is completely random. I'll probably still show you guys that one but I'm just making this my first official sketchbook. A few moments later. Okay. Okay, now that that's done. So, my Pokédex number, unknown. My name, is Stacy. Uh, my age, I am 26 years old. I am heading towards my 30s really quickly. My favorite movie is Howl's Moving Castle and all things Ghibli. I love Ghibli so much. It's my inspiration. My favorite books are the Akatar TV, Akatar series by Sarah Mass. My favorite food is ramen and Korean barbecue. Also tacos. My favorite ramen, tonkatsu. Favorite beef of Korean barbecue, bulgogi. And then I love al pastor tacos. I am of Mexican descent. If those tacos weren't a giveaway, my first language was Spanish and my second language was English. My favorite Pokemon is Eevee, as if you didn't know. I love video games, all things Nintendo. I'm a major geek and I am a Swifty. And yeah, that is the get to know me portion of this video. And I hope you guys really enjoyed, you know, having this chat with me and being able to see me draw my new sketchbook. It was totally fun for me. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. I have lots of fun videos coming up. So make sure you have your notifications on so you guys can get notified when I have a new video. Love you all. Bye.